Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am not coming to you guys with the best news to start this video. If you guys have been following the series, you'll know that I've been messing around with the vehicles a lot in this game. Specifically, I've been playing around with the hauler, and it's because there's a lot of storage room on the back for chests, and that's exactly what I did. I put six grand chests and two large chests full of all of my loot over the past month. I've been absolutely grinding all of the items in the snow biome so that one day I could go home and return to my main base that day was today until i realized that when i logged into the game this morning my hauler was gone the same hauler that had all of my most valuable resources and i'm not kidding i'll pop up a video on screen if i can find one and i'm talking all of my items i'm talking stacks of brute scales i had every single building resource in abundance tons of frost pine tons of ores i literally had everything but not anymore i think the most upsetting part about this is the fact that i had people commenting on my videos warning me about it and i read it and I was like, you know what? I logged off and back on multiple times and every single time my vehicle never despawned. So I thought that I wasn't going to be affected by it. I should have listened to the comments. And the reason I even checked in the first place was because I saw a tweet from Lego Fortnite status that reads, we are investigating an issue that can cause players to lose items in chests if those chests have been placed on the back of vehicles. We will follow up when the issue has been fixed. In the meantime, we suggest not putting valuables on chests on vehicles. And well, that's exactly what I did. So yeah, all of my items basically disappeared. Luckily, I still had some items because I couldn't fit everything onto my vehicles that were up in my storage room. So I salvaged what I could. And as you can see by my inventory, I still have, you know, not as much as I did before, but a little bit. But yeah, guys, I'm very, very bummed out. I spend hundreds of hours on this game and I just lost a bunch of stuff. So it doesn't feel good, obviously, but you know, we're just going to have to grind for our stuff back. It'll just make for more grinding on this game. And ultimately that's what I need to do. So we'll look on the bright side if there is one and it's that. Also, like I said, in my storage room up there, I did have some stuff and I've already taken two trips back to my OG base off camera just to transport those items. Since now I'm literally just using a grapple and running across my world. But yeah, a lot of talking to start this video. I just needed to update you guys on that because that is just, I think it's ridiculous. It's unfortunate that they put out the vehicles with a bug that big. Who knows? One day, maybe it'll pop up. I'm gonna come back multiple times. I know exactly where it is in the mountains. I'll definitely come back here and check it from time to time. But yeah, like I said, a lot of talking to start this video. Let's get back to our main base and I will catch you guys when we're there. And would you look at what we have here? We are back at the OG base. I'm sure some of you guys have definitely seen this before, but like I said, I've been back here twice off camera. It's very cool to be back here on camera though, because like I said, this is the most iconic village that I currently have have and now that you know this is a high complexity area but i think they're definitely updating to try to help save memory so i have a feeling that i'm going to be able to build some more here which is exciting i'll talk more about this village in tomorrow's video that's not the focus of this one we gotta grind a little bit and also i'm gonna show you my storage situation but like mentioned i've been over here twice already to drop some stuff off that's why i have some frost spine you know i have some wood but a majority of everything i had was on the back of the vehicle that despawned so unfortunately i'm not coming back here with the same haul i probably would have otherwise but i have a decent amount of stuff um it just hurts my soul to know that i'm gonna have to go farm a bunch of knot root because it's just all gone. But as somebody who plays this game every single day, and as somebody who's going to start building more villages, I'm going to need a lot more than what I have in here. It's honestly just kind of sad. And we are back with almost a full kit, but there's actually something else that I want to try before I even venture off to get some resources. Crafty Plays Lego Fortnite uploaded the craziest duplication glitch I've ever seen in this game, and I got to try it out for myself. Full credit goes to him for the tutorial, though. He makes great glitch videos, so go ahead and check his out in the description. In my video yesterday, Yesterday, I talked about how there is a driver's seat duplication glitch where if you just put a driver's seat down and break it, you'll get double the resources back. That duplication method still works, but this one is that one times 1 million. I mean, you can do this and you'll probably never have to farm for granite ever again. So we're going to try this out here. And what you do is you try to fill in the large driver's seat up against the side of this dynamic foundation. It might take a little bit for you guys to get the spacing, but once you do, you can basically put down a seat and as you can see, it'll break as soon as you put it down. When you try this for the first time, like I am right now, you'll see that you can eventually get it into a spot where you can basically just spam it, but it might take you a little bit of time to get there. But yeah, now we're absolutely rolling. And as you can see, we are just getting so many resources in such a quick amount of time. I usually don't do glitches like this, but there's a reason I'm doing it. Obviously at the beginning of this video, I literally lost everything. I'm just taking matters into my own hands after having all of my loot disappear. 
here. You know, I wish this method worked for ores so I could really get all my stuff back, but since that's not the case, this will have to do. And it's honestly nice because planks are one of those resources that I feel like most people don't want to make because it's just so tedious. So yeah, being able to come over here and fill up basically an entire chest after just a few minutes of work is kind of insane. Anyway, moving on, we're taking a lot of our resources and we're just going to throw some metal smelters in the middle of our village. These are temporary. Do not worry. But I need to start smelting metals because I used to have a lot of iron. Now I unfortunately don't. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and just load up a ton of bright core. And then we're just going to come back over here and load up a bunch of iron. All right, perfect. So we should have a stack or two of iron ready to be cooked up. Oh my goodness. And this is new. There's no way this was ever here in a past update. I'm pretty sure that they just built in some structures to our world. This chair is definitely one of them because yeah, this was not here before. There's just no way. I played too much of this game. This has never been here. And now it is. Let's go ahead and see what's on top. Open it up. And oh my goodness. Wait, did they listen to us? Because I've been complaining about bad chests for a long time. And this one had a lot more stuff. You know, it didn't have the greatest stuff, but it had a ton more which is interesting. Okay, and it had two swords. All right, well, not horrible. I mean, I did forget snowberry shakes and I was going to find a desert cave, which is actually right here. So very convenient that we got those. Anyway, back to the grind. We have to find as much ruby as we can in here. Maybe I'll get some bright core as well, but I'm just gonna gather some resources. All right. We got a little bit. I mean, I actually only got 12 pieces, but I just forgot how hard it is to mine with a pickaxe that isn't enchanted. It's been a while since I've done that, and it makes you appreciate enchantments a little bit more because triple damage speeds up things so much, and I completely forgot about that. Next thing we're going to do is switch our pickaxe out for a shovel and get a bunch of sand. I got a ton of sand at my other one. I'm going to say it so much in this video. I know you guys are probably already sick and tired of hearing it, but I had so much sand on the vehicle that disappeared. But yeah, I'm going to dig for a little bit. We'll get a bunch of sand, and we will be back home and we're here we cooked all of our iron up so now we're just gonna swap over the recipe to glass and as i'm searching through my chest here to try to build some compost bins i just realized i literally have five pieces of fertilizer in my entire world that means i can only put down one compost bin but you know you get fertilizer super quickly it's just kind of funny that i have none but i feel like we're approaching the time in the game especially with new utility benches coming out almost every single update i feel like we probably need to space out all of our stuff a little bit more in terms of organization and just storing things in the right place. I feel like one storage room isn't cutting it anymore. I'm thinking of major plans for this village and maybe even adding some surrounding this village. So what I'm thinking first off is that I'm going to have to delete the pyramid. If you look at the top of the screen, we have high complexity area. And then as we get between that and the pyramid, building gets completely disabled, which is not great. This build is just a memory hog because it's built out of these tiny foundation pieces. And yeah, a lot of these in one area is never great. I learned my lesson though. I'm going to have to demolish that. I don't know what the best way to do it is leave a comment if you do know because yeah i would be swinging my pickaxe forever so maybe dynamite i don't know if that'll even work either way we have our compost been cooking and i want to try building a vehicle next i have everything in my inventory that will probably be needed to throw any of these pieces down i've been trying to do stuff from scratch as we probably all know and it has not been working out but eventually i'm gonna have to learn so why not today let's go ahead and get started And here we go, my first ever vehicle. This is probably the most basic thing you've ever seen. And the first thing I have to do is make sure that the wheels are pointed in the right direction because that was something that I don't think I did last time. So we're already a step better than we were last time, but it looks like all the wheels are in the right direction now. We should be able to remove it from here and we have our vehicle also between the last cut and now as you can see i definitely use that exploit just a little bit more so i have more vines a lot more planks and then all of my other stuff as well just want to keep you guys posted on all of the resource gathering that i'm doing but anyway let's go ahead and throw two power cells in this bad boy also i'm gonna destroy this chest and grab the resources and just build it again right up in here i think one of the main things i want from every single vehicle or automobile or literally anything i make in this game is that it has to hold storage because what's the point if it doesn't i might might as well just fly around so we have a chest on here we have our entire vehicle and now we just need to add some bumpers okay so with the railings on you can see that this thing looks pretty nice the last thing that i'm missing are some thrusters to be honest with you i'm not too sure where i could even put these but we're gonna figure it out will it work please tell me it'll work it needs a supporting piece what do you mean this is the supporting piece no oh wait oh okay yo this car looks kind of mean i mean i like the way this looks i just feel like i don't really need this front part 
ignore this for now. We're going to go ahead and build a little bit more. Well, I broke it with the assumption that I'd be able to put stuff back in place, but I think the tires are now blocking it which is not great. Yeah, whatever. We got to get on the road. We got to try this thing out for the first time. Our batteries are in the back and we are going to get going. Oh, well, um, there's no wheels that turn. That would have been smart. Man, I am such a noob, bro. I am so bad at this. Our two powered wheels are in the back. We got to make sure these are in the right direction, which they are not. And now they are. Now let's hop in and give this thing a whip and see if it changes. Ooh, look at us. Okay. So we're driving a vehicle. I hope you guys are proud of me. Oh. Okay. Well, we were driving it. Okay. Now we're driving a vehicle again. Sorry for the stuttering. Not sure what's going on. And I just got kicked out of my world. There was a... Okay, dude. What just happened? I swear my car wasn't that bad. They did not have to kick me out. Okay, we made it back in. It's raining. This is not a good sign because um, this vehicle is dismantled. There's blocks on the floor now. In order to get that thing untipped over, I think that I'm gonna have to grab a balloon. But after I already had one vehicle disappear and I feel like that one might also disappear eventually, I don't have the highest hopes for vehicles yet. Maybe they're a little too advanced for their time. I've also read a lot of commenters say the exact same thing, that their vehicles are bugging on them and yeah i think that i'm falling victim to that as well i'm just bummed because it would honestly be such a good transportation tool vehicles in general but the hauler because you would have been able to put so many chests on the back of it ah uh, man one day one day they'll have it fixed i believe in them but yeah like i said i think they're a little too advanced let's see if we can get this thing up regardless though we'll put a little balloon on it and okay that didn't do anything what if i Oh, you can kind of push it. Maybe putting two balloons on it is the play, but I feel like it's going to fly. So let's get on top of it. This is a whole ordeal that definitely didn't even need to happen. But we're here and is the game frozen or yeah, the game's definitely frozen. There's no way. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. So let's break one and let's break two. The vehicle's in the same exact spot. You know what? Forget it. I'm dedicating most of next episode to building out the village behind me, but I'm going to be honest. I might try to also build an aircraft. Comment down below with the best aircraft build that you've seen on YouTube because I'm going to have to follow the tutorial. Eventually, I'll be goaded with the mechanic tools, but for now, yeah, I kind of suck as you can tell. What a sad way to end the video, but I got to end it here so I can get started on our build out for the next video. So thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of the daily survival series. Subscribe if you you haven't already code cas in the fortnite item shop and join the discord for giveaways that are going to be launching next week but that's been it for me today i will catch y'all later peace